uh, we can look at areas from Guinea-Bissau where we have a small operation and uh, if we look at West Africa it is an area where we can see increasing challenges uh, where weak states are being eroded by smuggling networks of different sorts um, and migration uh, Chad where we had an operation in Central African Republic which is not necessarily the most stable of places yet that you can think of and then we go jump from there to southern Sudan and Somalia, which we very much discussed at council yesterday. You can jump from that over Yemen, and then you enter the entire area from Palestine to Punjab, with increasing geopolitical tensions that we see building up in that area, and where we need to be active, not necessarily alone, uh, but cl clearly active in order to safeguard our interest and to also influence the activities of other actors so that it works in a way that is not to the detriment of our security interests, which is also a possibility that could be there. Uh, I've often made the case, and I made it previously as well, that I think the software of policies is more important than the hardware of instruments. If we've got the software of policies, uh, we can normally find the hardware of instruments. Uh, not always, but we should not forget that we've got a resource base to draw from that is fairly massive. We are half a billion people. We are 27 nations. We are the biggest integrated economic area of the world. We have uh, military, uh, I don't have the figure, but I think I have in the background of my head, in the back of my head, correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am, <coughs> that we have together 40,000 diplomats deployed around the world. Does anyone recognize that figure? Yeah, I, say, okay, since no one can say it's wrong, we assume it's right. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's in the, it probably in the order of magnitude that we have 40,000 diplomats deployed around the world for, from the European Union. That's a fairly impressive resource base. We have lots of militaries that might not be particularly relevant to the threats of the day, but it's a resource base uh, to draw upon if we develop the, 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 the software of policies that, that are right. So I would, when we discuss what we need to do looking ahead, uh, I would take that into three or four different categories. And starting really then with developing the software of policies. I have obviously not read uh, the book about what ambitions for European defense in, two, in 2020, but I notice on the introductory page a quote from the famous history of the Peloponnesian War, which goes very much in line with what I'm thinking, where it's written, those who make wise decisions are more formidable to their enemies than those who rush madly into strong action. And uh, we can take that as one of the guiding principles for what we should do. So the first thing we should do is to, um, when we get the Lisbon Treaty, which we all hope we'll get, start building up the external action service in Brussels and around the world. We must, must, must build up the analytical, the information, the policy planning and policy development capabilities that are key to the software of, of policies. Uh, we have a beginning of that, no question about it. Um, we um, adopted the European Security Strategy in 2003. We did a review of that in 2008. Uh, it's a good document. It's not necessarily a strategy. A strategy is a rather ambitious name, but it's a good document. Um, and it's part of a process of developing, and that's the most important part of it. It's a part of a process of developing a common uh, strategic outlook among the 27, uh, which is part of an effort to develop over time a common strategic culture of the 27. That's going to take its time, because that comes not only of the intellectual efforts of developing policies, but also from the very sort of down-to-earth experience of conducting operations together, doing the failures that always comes with operations, but also experience the successes that will come. Um, but that is, of course, important to develop the analytical information, policy planning, instruments, Brussels based to a large extent, is key. Secondly, and Xavier and I came from another seminar this morning where we discussed uh, more the mediation, conflict resolution, instruments and capabilities and willingness and personalities that we need to develop. I, I, I would stress that very much. We need to develop the wider network of networks that makes it possible for us to operate not only in the white, but also in the gray and perhaps also in the black areas uh, when it comes to looking at different situations, interacting with the different actors, and uh, do the policy things that are necessary. Think tanks, academic institutions, NGOs, uh, 
this institution is part of it. I've also advocated a long time setting up a new what I call the European Institute of Peace, to a certain extent among the American model, to be able to do also the informal diplomacy and to link in with a lot of the things that we need to do, to do the lessons learned. We are very good at talking about all of the successes that we've done. I think we should be better at talking about our mistakes, because at the end you learn more for the future by your mistakes than by your successes, acknowledging that that is a somewhat more difficult discussion. Then, of course, the instruments that need to be uh, developed. Uh, we often talk about military instruments, military operations or civilian operations. I mean, there are no military operations, there are no civilian operations. There are political operations that we undertake, where you deploy a mix of military, civilian, and economic instruments. The mix is somewhat different depending upon the nature of the operation, but the mix must always be there, and it must always be clear that it is not a military, it's not, not a civilian, it's not an economic, it's a policy operation. And it has a policy objective and should have a policy lead. And then you deploy the different instruments according to that. That being said, you obviously need to develop the different instruments in spite of what I've said.